See how thick that is? So it's called a thick slip. And before I do that, I'm going to do this. This is Epsom salt. Probably a lot of water. So I just get like sometimes what I'll do is I think okay. So I have a video, I have a video up on YouTube that's called Flocculation Deflocculation. You just Google John Britt YouTube Defloc and you'll see this. And then you don't have to think about it all too much. So I usually just put like a couple tablespoons in a cup, and that makes my Epsom salt water. So this is my. Uh, you can use hot water, but it'll dissolve anyway. Is this what you soak your body? In? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. in the bath. Yeah, yeah. It feels so good. It's good yeah. in the garden. This too. is what you smoke if you do bath salt. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, is, it is. They're crazy. No. So, I, I'm just kidding. So, uh, don't give them any honey. This is an essentially <laughs> it's a salt that acts like an acid. What happens if you put okay. lavender in that? It'll be good. See, that's you go. why we're almost we're almost done. We're almost done. Just hang on for a minute. Okay, vinegar is also a way to do an acid, and this is our base. Sodium is our base. So here's our slip. So we mix this up. We just you see how thick it is. Very thick. You just put a little bit of this in. By a little bit, I mean about that much. That's a lot. But it's a, we want to make it work. See how watery it gets. So that is called cast. This would be called a casting slip now, but you wouldn't put that much in. Now, if you want, you can. What you would normally do now, I would take my trimming scraps because this looks just like water now. I would take my trimming scraps and pour them in here, stir that up. It would get thick again. I would add a little more of this, get it watery, add some more trimming scraps. Now I have same water, three times as much clay. That's why it doesn't crack when it shrinks. That's called a trailing slip or a thickened slip. Then you can take this and go, since I'm not going to do that because that would be dusty and everything, but you can also go backwards. Now, do you see that marbling? That's what I mean by marbling. Can you see it on the surface? Yeah. Like the water, when it's just flowing in, in like, you know, marbled. See it on the surface. Yeah, you almost have to, like, pass it around to you're really good with that little finger strap. Huh? Yeah. I like my little loopy yeah. finger strap. I thought that was going to drop, drop in there. So now watch this. Now I, if this wasn't even a glaze, I could say, oh, I would just look at that and say, this is deflocculated. I would have to stir, mm -hmm. I would fix this before I applied it. See this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost like oil. If you're going to yeah. yeah. and you need to flocculate it or defoculate so it. So it takes just a scrimp. Oh, so then I'm going to go like this. When you're now watch the this. Slip, you mix the sodium so it can happen after water, just so you don't accidentally add too much. See how that puffed up? Look at that in there now. See how that puffed up into a pool there? Yeah. See it's puffy? No. Well, get your body in here. See that? See that puffiness? Yeah. Watch this now. Oh, yeah. You see how it like sort of bubble puffy up? Ooh, wow. That means that means when I do that, I know immediately I'm correct because I'd always I'm not sure I'm correct because you know how pottery is. I hope I'm correct, so I'll do a little. Also, what I'll do is put a small bit in a cup, and then I will um, do it that way uh, before I do the whole bucket. Okay, now, everybody go ooh. 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 So I'll just keep doing this. Back and forth. But you put all that extra clay in there too. This is 100% kaolin, so there's plenty of clay in there. I'm just doing this as a demo. Okay? So that's that. Now, if I really wanted to, remember our bent night, and I really wanted to, I wonder if I could go and do that again. So you can't just keep going back and forth. It, it doesn't like that. But we'll try it anyway. Evidently, it doesn't mind a little bit of it. Then a lot of times what I'm going to do is add some bentonite and see how it's already in water. You're not going to get specking and you know little. So I would put some bentonite in here. Then I'm going to stir it up. Then I'm going to add this. Take it back to where it was. Uh oh. So see. Uh -oh. <laughs> so that's when it's broken, huh? That's when it's ruined. That don't put that. Reclaim that. Okay. Now this is 100 percent. That night. 
I need to, I need to get, no, not bet, neck size. Okay, okay. I'm like the guy with the drill. Yes. Wow. Okay, this is nest I 100%. You see how hard this is? Mm -hmm. Then you just go like this. Cornstarch does that too. Exactly. Yeah. Same thing. This is why you can't throw with it. Because as you shake it, it starts to fall. But see how hard it is? Mm -hmm. So this is a deflocculated uh, problem when you're trying to glaze. It is. This will keep children busy for hours. I could just. What, when this class is over, I just sit here like this. It feels so good when I coast my hand. I feel a sense of security. Okay. But you see how once that, when you're breaking that up, see when you break that up, it almost breaks up like chips. And that's why I'm saying you don't sit there and try to grind it. You just break it up. Now, if I took this and I and I broke it up, got water in there, added some bentonite, added some uh, Epsom salts, I would get the thing back to where it was. Okay? That's it, kids. That's all we got. And, we're, and you're going to tell us what to clean up? How do you fix this whole